welcome artists to Art Project Hour Art Club. My very first episode of Art Club was meant to be designed as a once-off event, but with current regulations and lockdown continuing, Art Club has become its own beast. This is a spin-off from my regular Art Project Hour series, with the episodes being shorter. It's less talk, more art. I'll link all of the uh, previous episodes into the description below. The first rule of Art Club is to talk about Art Club. Remember that creativity breeds creativity and sharing ideas cultivates more of your own in return. This week, we are going to be embracing the much loved and enjoyed activity of sensory water play. It's no longer just something left as busy work for toddlers and preschoolers. Remember, water is a precious resource, so don't waste it. It's our responsibility to look after our planet. I have filled up a small glass of water and will refill it as I need it. You will need much less water than you originally think that you have. If you're feeling really eco-friendly, you can actually collect some rainwater in advance. This week, you'll be experimenting with how water reacts to different surfaces. Your surface could be a fence, cement path, brick wall, tiles, glass, or even a plate. Does the water soak in? Does it change the color of the surface? Does it sit on the surface and create a water bead? Watch how the water behaves and changes as it dries and the pattern it leaves behind. You can experiment using different tools such as a paintbrush, medicine dropper, spray bottle, a jug, strips of cardboard, cotton tips, or scrunched up tissue or rag. Think about other materials that you can use to apply the water and develop a design. If your surface absorbs the water, it's known as a porous material. Concrete paths and timber fences are examples of porous surfaces. Artist Adam S.B. uses a non-porous surface, such as a tile or glass, as his background and drips small amount of water using a combination of an eyedropper and a paintbrush to create his designs. But you could use the handle of a small teaspoon to create a similar effect. A non-porous surface will not absorb water. Rather, a little water droplet will fall on top. It's about watching and enjoying the process and the moment. With no pigment, you're creating a temporary artwork so photograph or record your process before it dries. When you finish, give your leftover water in your glass to an indoor or outdoor plant if you have one. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Art Project Hour Art Club. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.